Coming from the city of the living pen Kids wanna rap but the rappers wanna be kids again Only 22 so my life was at a bit of rent Bit of stress gems, were you waiting for? Bill it then They want that fast money Zooming in they cars money Buy a couple stones Trying to start and like they hard money But it's all a fast sunny Cause you see the man are blind You don't know how much you can see Do you look past money? Instrumental in your own demise Cause your flow's so shy They only wanna hear you a cappella. That's why it ain't hard to see that you can't bar on beat I mean that snowboarding excuse sounds a bit bizarre to me This hip hop combat So when we start to speak and our armies meet It's like we're using machine gun fire And you're just using your arms and feet like Bart and Lee <laughs> Different artistry Ours bit the boss regime Yours is that man we can't rap So we use humour to get a laugh from Lee's Nah, let me jump on Charlie's D's He told Tony he flopped so he only reps half his league So if you can't rap in a rap battle Then you only rep half the scenes mm. That's why I'm... So I can't really knock the guy's writings But what you rapping for? For if you can't even follow time signature See Yes, see, I'll have you heading to the docks When I finish bud, tea leaves in a bag Like when we colonized India Whoa. So forgive me if I don't see you as a conquest or challenging I've been part of half of the solos you took the wrong step and got battered in Your longevity is definitely not set to be happening Cause if you're only good in concept battles You don't understand the concept of battle <laughs> Never out rap us. So 
to judge we on some next shit. But what you know about running round the circuit when you had no money for the electric? Yes. Why they was cause we starved, you had caviar that mommy did for breakfast. I've been in studio since I was 13, shuffle for this hustle, I've been destined. But you don't even rap outside battles. Hence why you spend months and weeks on prepping and st st stammer, st stammer so much it sounds like you're gonna fucking stumble into next spring. So when you came out of the blue with boss lyricist query? We came from the ground up, that's Darwinian theory. Mm. Wow. Let's go. But have you ever wondered how Shuffle's rounds quickly got madly greater? About the time I introduced you to my boy in fact. Now I'm not saying man's a traitor, Real talk, but I'm not saying man's a traitor, but he helps you get straight to the point. And you act like it's not a massive favour, so if his phrases sound frank today, that's due to Frankie Fraser. And uh, I'd have a little second thought if you're thinking this man's mate is in Plymouth. You told me you were an arrogant sad waste who does what he wants just because you were mad late. Then you didn't say a shit to a man's face. He's the only reason you have a fan base and the sole reason anyone knows your damn name. And shuffle. Remember when you told me half your fans are retards? <laughs> Real talk. You wanna say it to them now? What's up cousin? You weren't so shy when they wasn't around. See, they see you as a king. But try to win this on favours from the crowd. Nah, you King Charles the first man, they'll slay you for the crowd. Time. Go! Are you ready, Liz? Yeah! You guys! are so pissed off about this. <laughs> Cracker, you look furious, mate. Truly enraged. I was like... You've got to go through with it, mate. And you were like... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'll do what you say. Aww. <laughs> don't worry. We know you don't agree we're in a suitable place, but if that's truly the case, then we'll lose anyway, and the views will be great, so dude, it's okay. <laughs> and you're not this to us. You guys are swearing in with praise. We see, you said we'd lose it today, but that we do entertain, and that's where I think these dudes got confused in a way, because it's called Don't Love Entertainment, boys. The clue's in the name. <laughs> you guys only won that tournament because we weren't there. Just face it, the bet's through. Only got that title because we basically let you, but now we're made at our house as a change of address due, but we hope that you enjoyed your stay in the guest room. And if you put this all into context, it spits itself. I mean, you guys won this great big contest and it was swell. But now, we've been offered to win the belt four rounds after getting bodied by Mick and L. True shit. True shit. Yeah, you know that, man. And how the battles now we're here? Oh, oh, didn't have to battle for the whole damn fucking year. <laughs> Cracker this round since you two have already battled. And now I'm here and I'm looking to accept the challenge. Yeah. You I let you win! <laughs> you hated, hated those ginger jokes. Like, I'm sorry, you have red hair. I didn't realise before we battled you didn't actually know that. I never planned to expose I never planned to expose Crack, but his reactions were so sad, which leads me to believe that he hadn't been shown that. I expected rolled eyes and a sarcastically slow flap. Not the most fucked up cry face since Carrie from Homeland. <laughs> Getting mad whenever battlers address the fact that your head is red, you twat. Like, of course it's coming up. I mean, imagine you're against a man with legs, legs for hands. hands. You're gonna wanna mention that. <laughs> what have you got to complain about? You won this big tourney and got fucking half the prize. I bet you went and fucking partied, right? I bet you were burning money for cigars tonight. Like, nope! He used it to pay off his overdraft in time. <laughs> What's next, crack? Win first place on Mastermind so you can finally pay off that parking fine? <laughs> when Cracker got his money, I thought maybe he made a stash. But the fact is, he was in debt. So the moment he had it, he paid it back. And Marcus gave his to the mosque, so we're just restating facts. Him and C Major have a complete waste of cash. <laughs> but who needs, who needs money when you've got Barley's? <laughs> I don't have Barley's. Cracker just forces simple similes with shit delivery inconsistently to fit the imagery. Seriously, you always use similes that don't spark. Like a whack lighter! You just Google and then say light. Like a fact finder! You always yeah. take the longest route to get there. Like a cab driver! Yeah. And underneath it, you just write bad. Like a bad writer! Yeah. Now you said the word. Yeah. In a rap battle. Now 
not saying I don't understand the words you speak. Oh wait, I am. And I'm saying it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> See, for cracker, the speaking matter can be a hazard. I mean, imagine. He's on a date, pizza tavern. That's okay. She's a slapper. It's going great. <laughs> Cheeky banner. <laughs> till, the, till the waiter comes and asks them what... Till the waiter comes and asks them what they would want for starters. Leans to cracker. Who says he's like a medium platter of pizza salad? <laughs> <laughs> He'd like a medium platter of sin! <laughs> forget it, mate, forget it, forget it. And on the journey to Plymouth, I was next to this guy. Imagine the following, but for the length of the drive. Who the fuck is Kennedy Spike, 75, and why is he saying I'm desperate for hype? Fuck it, that's it, I'm pressing dislike. That'll send a message for Christ. How pathetic is that prick telling me lies? I love how, I love how, I love how they think they're gonna get to me, guys! Yeah! <laughs> if Crowd during a battle and he's on his phone. He's not taking notes so he can judge around on content. He's on his old English battle thumbing down the comments. <laughs> now you guys seem to think that when it comes to bars, leads will never listen. Like they're only after laughter and don't seek your depth of wisdom. The same lead that went crazy when him received the flex decision. The same leads that went insane when Tony beat in definition. Bearing that in mind, we don't want to see you ever bitching. In the same lane, complaints claiming leads won't get you written. That excuse is wearing thinner than a fiend with meth addiction just popping out to a needle exhibition. <laughs> You can rap from the hood, but to get reaction, you actually have to be good. <laughs> Yo. Yo. See, I think it is wild. You look up to another man so much, you became a mimicking child. They may think it's just tricks up your sleeve. Nah, but give him a while. I clock from day one with his emo fashion. That's just that Mark Grist in your style. Mm. Cause you took another man's style, and I ain't talking about Neil. <laughs> Mark Grist got three million views, and you crept in the scene on the D-Log. Now you can say that's a coincidence, but we know you have to see it from Mark's point of view, like Peep Show. Yo, cause we really didn't want to do this battle, nah, but we saw I had to. Cause you sparked up a little interest and we were forced to match you. But really, they only rate you on performance value and we got three grand for four battles. Oh, oh. how much is your performance value? <laughs> Cause we're like Heisenberg when we write a verse. Not one poor step man, I make that paper. Jesse Pickman pen and written, throw it on your doorstep like, take that player. When I hear a good shuffle, but I'm like, yeah, kinda of rate that Fraser. But Uncle Crap made up his mind to kill him 10 minutes ago. He's a Zack Schrader. <laughs> So if it's, a, if it's a question of who comes hard of his Futurama Feel the irony of an iron sentences Tried and tested cryogenics Flow cold enough to fry your brethren mm. Pound for pound, I break your unit down, it's fine I can divide the metrics Run up and bars overheads like I'm trying to apply the methods of plyometrics mm. Cause you look like you haven't been the same since you went through that other phase They put two lions to savage on a random straight cat Today it's all a masquerade. Fag away the passion, mate. I throw it down till I can't see shit like a flash grenade. I play, I play pat a cake with Adam's face till it looks like a pasta bake. Back gets caved. One punch smashes plates like Greeks when they're at a rave. Freddy Krueger, I hope the camera's aimed and that you grab the take, cause he won't even realise he's sleeping until we're at awake. Cracker the first time you battled, now it's about time you try lying dead. You went from your tryout, then went from fox hunting with your post cousin and jumped straight into the lion's den. Literary, literary architect, when I pick up my writing pen, uni boy, best get the spark notes to revise the text. Cause Marlo, I heard your, I heard your shitty mashup music, man. It's not his past wisdom, cause your mixes sound like the start off of a Tony Stark system. If I drop, if I drop that black bollocks now, that's a map off around. You see, half of the bar missing, so when his crusty set drops, I'll say I didn't do it and they'll laugh on Bart Simpson. Yeah.
<laughs> and you dissed our rest for being Christian. How does that shit work? When you look like Jesus. Yeah. yeah. But your girl's an Indian from a Muslim family. So if you choose to play religion, it's cause you felt the restraints from the shake like Haitian victims. Really? They say I'm arrogant, egotistical. Now state the difference. I'm out to kill for honor like her family when she claims she's with him. Cause she's ashamed of you. Ain't told her relatives about the way you live. Cause you can't take care of her like her relations do. So it's not due to their devotion to faith. It's due to her lack of faith in you. That's why she's straight aborting if you pop a dumb. Cause she don't want none of it. She been fucking with that Marlo kid. Cause she can't believe how dull he is. So if she, so if she ever if she ever claimed that she's currying your offspring, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if it looks like a younger Boris Johnson. Yo, listen, and I'm sorry for the awkward journey home, brother, but these were foreshadowed words. She's a musician named Aaliyah. It's plain to see that was gonna crash and burn. <laughs> You told Anton Murphy that God wouldn't help, wouldn't come down to help him win a battle, and then you said, "I'm Thomas Aquinas with God on my side." You flipping fraggle. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> now if God's on your side, I'm not sure which part you say through him, but I'm pretty sure the last person he possesses is a middle-class atheist. <laughs> so feel the adrenaline hit. Feel the adrenaline hit your heart like Uma Thurman. I fuck up your whole system. I'm not no Willis, but the two-punch combo pop won't miss him. Tom's no Christian. Fuck divine intervention. God won't visit as if my shots won't hit him. Call the wolf when I leave his posh, don't miss it like that car scene shot in Paul Mitch! Mm. Yeah. Okay, hold on, time out. We back up a sec. We've all had a good laugh, rapping with threats. The atmosphere's tense, crackers and sweats. But now there's really something impressive that we have to address. That angle you penned about Bamalam's rent having to end, don't you ever, ever, Make Bagnall feel that fucking awkward in a battle again! <laughs> <laughs> Doing jokes in this battle? It's fucking hard! I mean, how can this clash be a big one for laughs when we got C over here with a stick up his ass? Um, I can imagine him writing. Crack is in and sat with him. Tom's getting bored, so he cracks a little random quips. He made you used to this by now. He's practiced it and has to grin like ha ha ha. Yeah. Can we actually get back to this? <laughs> Fuck this man's depressing line of business slides and that sad expression hiding in his eyes. He's on that no humour tactic. So bureaucratic you can actually sense him tightening his tie. But hold on, wait. Hmm. Can anyone actually back up this man's age? I mean, it's 14 plus, right? Yeah. Was there an allowance for cracks, mate? Oh. You could walk into a GCSE exam and it wouldn't be weird. No. <laughs> Say, he shouldn't be here. They'd just be like, oh, look at the kid pushing the beard. You're, you're literally six. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't grown into an adult, bro. I don't think Marcus is even old enough to be acne prone. Type to answer the door at the flat he owns to be asked, is your mum and your daddy home? <laughs> Marcus, you act all hard, but we're baffled. How are you the geekiest looking guy in, in this battle? <laughs> Fucking nerd clubbing. I bet a time of girls love it when you jump and turn, striding like a Thunderbird's puppet. No, 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 but you claiming being tough is all humour. And with that, be training. Now you claiming being tough is all humour. And with that, be training. Must have had a poor tutor. What, you got more to do than Storm Troopers? Nah, you down in left water white and more Walt Junior. <laughs> Do you know what rhymes with steam ages religion? I suppose you want to tell me. How about he changes for women? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. How about how about he details his opinion? The three days in his switch and a week later is different from a weed blazing addiction to refraining from drinks. <laughs> yeah, I guess that rhymes. Still, still. She's made this decision. Yeah, no, genuinely. <laughs> his wife's the man. It's kind of sad. <laughs> It's kinda sad how he's whipped like a flan. He stays under the thumb like a hitchhiker's back. His prick tries to act like he lives like a man, but his chick style of pants, but his kind of brand. <laughs> See, girl, 
She stays in power. She don't just wear the pants, she makes you make the trousers. <laughs> I know she's taught you to revere Mecca. And religion is alright, but beer is better. <laughs> Year seven, you're going to give in to the peer pressure. I've got some true fucking shit I'd like to chew up and spit. The season of religion, but the shoe doesn't fit. I mean, when you stuck to script, I bet it's lubed up your chick. But when you entered in a contest and you threw money in, that's gambling, see, regardless of who won the shit. You bloody quit, and I don't think the mosque would approve such a sin. But you truly disregarded how true Muslims live when you partnered up with this guy. Because that's a huge fucking risk. <laughs> and let's face it, you guys are hardly content. And I love how hard he pretends, but to be honest, you guys aren't even friends. <laughs> they suck at being friends. They run into each other at events. Like, bro, I didn't know you were coming this weekend. <laughs> Disgrace. He goes to give him respect because he's your mate and he accidentally decks him in the face. <laughs> I reckon C just hates Cracker and Cracker has no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> How can we truly prove this to make it work? On the count of three, say each other's date of birth. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> 15th February! 29th of October! We are way better than <laughs> than you two are. We're better best friends than you'll ever get with your respective best friends than neither of you have respectively ever met yet. <laughs> I'm gay for this guy. No homo. I'm gay for you too. No bono. See? <laughs> Friends forever! Pen and teller! Sketch and censor! Hesh and bender! Egg and pepper! Ah! Meth and pressure! Hair and bella! Yeah, whatever! I said the energy is sick and we're intelligent with it. You were the two remaining losers paired together at the gym, so you're never gonna bring the same magneticism in. You got together for the shit, but you never should have mixed. You were definitely pissed, or the weather wasn't missed. You're like a fella and a chick who got a wedding as a fix, and now you're only keeping it together for the kids. We were the best from the first round of the tournament. There was no gambling about it. Mm. Yo. But don't think you're winning just because we in Leeds, Don. Ease off my foot in your face, taste the Reeboks. I have them spitting kicks like... Damn, I didn't know that you could beatbox. Winners of the tournament, mm. look how many teams drop now. T's dog surrounded by the dead as he dies in front of this bitch like T-Dog. Mm. We move through the Sahara, bit foot and stand grand on this land. Two feet, but don't step into my vicinity. The quicksand too deep. Yeah, you climbing the ladder, but don't let the support gas you, please. Mm. You'll be left with no leg to stand on if you fall for the way they amputee. Mm. And now Posh Boy gonna love it Cause you put Shuffle into spa But I'm snuffing him, cross cutting him Ali shuffling every bar These queens ain't got a W Spit nothing from the heart So now you've got the kings out of place Cause of Shuffle in the cards <laughs> But deal me in, it's 21 You're now fucking with the best Don't show me your hands That shit's bread and butter to the vets We already said we're two kings So hitting us is something you'll regret And now the deck ain't getting shuffled Nah, Shuffle getting dead <laughs> Because you man are actors, I see it well. Stand up guys slash stand up comedians, hell. Writers for them, damn. No lie, man was in need of help. Cause we had a fucking diss of man that's already a parody of himself. <laughs> Marlo! I love the way you handle the stage. The way you get reaction for your rapping and turn back in a rage. I bet your gap here was cray. <laughs> Displays of all your travel aways, cause one minute you're here, next he's back in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I understand this 
is in my natural accent, but hey, I just came to shuffle with the hand that you gave just to prove without the accent your shit's average and plain. I had to mirror image these shitty spitters so I could snap on these fakes. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit, man. How are you a gangster when you can't even make a decent hit? Man. Now that may sound like a bad bar and that we're fucking with his gimmick But we're quoting that shit straight out of Shuffle versus Liquid See that was your bad bar Before bad bar So Marlon and Shuffle T were taking the piss out of people making this shit So anyone that had a bad bar before it was labelled a prick No need to wait for the twist I'm here to say what it is You did bad bars But you're part of the reason it even came to exist <laughs> Solo battle, all you do is stupid stumbles. Dudes are crumbled. At Royal, then T is due a rumble. Yeah, your crews are knuckled in, and that boy might lose the struggle. Cause weak vines won't save you when you in this ruthless jungle. You and your girl lose a couple. I take her and leave you in trouble. I understand you give her pounds. Me, I make her lose a couple. The single part's the lonely one. And now I mean to boot shoot your buff, but I make you walk it by yourself without Cupid. Shuffle, cause mm. I've got that heavy ammo to fuck up your bandwagon like the men in Django. No rap, bro. Old school and OB ahead. I'm Kango. I took first blood when we last battled. Shit got messier than Rambo. Thought I was done. Until I pop up in the air and kill him like Benny Blanco. <laughs> Look, I'm William Tell with arrows. I'll definitely get his mango. You said you wanted sperm on your face. Don't think we were forgetting that, bro. <laughs> you to me, that's duty free. I'm just here to send these bags home for saying they wanted to be undercover with Lefty like that fella Brasco. Mm. So yeah, you pop. So yeah. You popular now, risen a couple of tears But there's no passion in your accent, you just do it for the love from your peers The difference between us, we never done it for cheers So what's flavour of the month for two rappers that've been hungry for years? Speaking of bad bars In your old English battle you did something I didn't believe. I mean, you said it was an old English literature scheme that literally puts you at the height of idiocy because the title should have been English at least. And your wordplay schemes never seem over to me. Just go on and on about crap we can't cope to believe and the wordplay's barely even linked, it just kind of goes to a beat. This could genuinely pass as one of their associative schemes. For that Diana, Ross, leave C-saw if he plain to let that Coco pops. I'm that <laughs> So you know when I hand solo shot. They ain't got the key. They ain't got the key for Sutherland. They walk in dead. He don't smoke Jay, son born again. Flying monkeys, watch that zoo land, uh. If he <laughs> If he might in the mechanics, Amelie. Crack a bottle, Amelie. It's a mixture of the two, but the fact is, you are a cunt. I threw cancer, bitch! Mm. The fuck the jokes. <laughs> we haven't, you know what, fuck the jokes. We haven't come to roast. The Chuckle Bros can fuck off home. We've come to turn these buns to toast with schemes that drag longer than Shuffle's coat. The stuff we wrote can cut your throat. The stuff you wrote's a loving poker, hug at most. No originality, just a couple clones saying the same shit over and over like Lux's choke. To us, you're both a running joke, so it's punches thrown till our knuckles broke. We pulled you out of your comfort zone, your championships are sunk in bow. Skull and bone, up in smoke, covered over with undergrowth. Cause we're nothing more than Lux, you drove up the road to the double's throne. But wait, 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 wait. wait. Whilst we're talking about how they won the dough, how about just one more joke? Go on then. Do you know what rhymes with Kraken Major? It's Frankie Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh no, I know what you're insinuating here. But they've got bars on their own, Kraken then. Name one. Dog spots like Cruella de Vil? Frankie's gem. Uh, Braids Breader, Swave Sever? Frank again. Uh, Venom Snake Bite, Devil May Cry? I actually wrote that, but fuck it, Frank again. <laughs> Your voice ain't been the same since Bullets like Curtis Jackson. <laughs> yeah, but that was them. But look. <laughs> If you're okay with taking Frankie's line, that's not the problem. The problem's you robbed him. Frankie Fraser! I don't know what happened, Frankie Fraser. Again. I don't know why they haven't paid you. See, the fact is, 
If we had written with Frank to be given some cash, it'd be a vicious attack if we didn't give him some back. He gave you your best lines, it's as simple as that. It was a huge part of you two even winning a match. So for not looking out for him for scripting your clash, you have to live with the fact that you're stabbing him in the back. Don't get it confused, this ain't about being tight with cash, this is about that money going back into its rightful hands. For the shit that you actually write, you claim you're sick with pen and paper. But your bars are just a simpler replication of a bigger presentation without the fucking nuts. Snickers celebration. Motherfuck this! I feel a pinch of devastation when kids intend to claim these boring pricks direct the face of a thing of entertainment. It'd be like the league tried enlisting Kevin Bacon because they risked the reputation of everything, everywhere with their cringy desperation. Mm. But look, I think it's about time we described it bluntly. Fuck this childish d fucking dummy and the bride of Chucky. You act surprised we succeed with a style that's funny, but of course we're entertaining, it's required of us, see? So it makes us top five doubles inside the country. Like Bagnall, Bam and Krug on their final custies, we've rendered our entire timeline a must-see. From driving up fleet, trying to bust freeze to the greatest thing to happen online since just you guys are yeah. lucky, yeah. you guys are lucky I couldn't find the fucking time or money for the signing up fee Cause all you seem to think you still have wiped the rug clean It would have been a very different final, trust me Yo. <laughs> See, you, guys, you guys act like you're some giant name out of battling like you've acquired fame But no one believes those lies you claim And when we swoop in and take the title chain You'll even have to hide away from cyberspace like Pirate Bay <laughs> See we made those look See climate change, like tidal waves or seismic plates when they slide and shake. We bring in the black clouds and skies of grey, you just fill in the background like Skylar Grey. Mm. It's a lighter's flame to a fireplace. Tonight Twain to Brian May. A twilight page to Snipes' blade. Trying to place to some live grenades. It's child's play. You think you go over heads like a bride's bouquet? No, nope. you bore them so much they hibernate. You act like you get to work and grind away night and day like Miley Ray, Cyrus May, but what comes out you both are crying shame. Your both lead don't flop to his final grave. We're here to save it's time for change! It's changing time! Your fame and hype has gained in size, but claiming you could keep running the games alive. You could break you could break the ice at race for life, because all I see is a couple ladies taking strides. <laughs> but fuck it. But hats off to crack dog and mate. I mean, three grand on the plate and absolutely no help from Frank on the way. At least that's what they'll say, but they gas off the fame, they'll slack off and make the fans want to hate, and that's got to change. Our aim's to have everyone look back on today like that was the day the chance got replaced, because yeah. Our pronounced voices may sound mad, posh and gay, but at least everybody understands what we say! <laughs> see? See? See, no one expected us, but we're the covert forces in the Trojan horses at your stony fortress. Tripped you into an open drawbridge, going forward till there's only loads of bonus corpses and broken swords, it's no performance or vocal cords versus the overloads of Roman warships, and now you're getting tossed overboard and thrown towards the open waters. Think about it, how quickly we've been leaping over borders. Three battles as a pair and now we're beating those before us. The staff pushed us forward, we've got heaps of close support. We don't need to prove why we're the champs. The, the league, league has spoken for us! <laughs> Yeah, go on. Dash PS5, that was a very big 2 on 2 title match I'm judging right there. Um, going into the um, third round, I had it very close. Like, I'm not trying to say it's one round each or not, and I'm not even judging on rounds, it's the whole battle over. Oh, I did not know who was winning it when it came into the third round. Midway through the third round, I felt like Shuffle T and um, Marlow were, were, were letting off the steam a little bit, possibly gonna, gonna, gonna give it away to Cracker and C, but they just carried on bringing it hard towards the end and given their overall performance, I'm gonna have to give this to um, Shuffle T and um, Marlow. Let's. Yo, I'm gonna give this one to uh, Shuffle T and Marlow. I just think they worked a lot better as, as a pair. I think uh, Cracker and C Major had a lot of very good individual bars, but the actual interaction between uh, Shuffle T and Marlow, which can often come off as like Corny, actually came off as really well on this they had some amazing schemes that fucking friends for life uh friends forever pesci bender sketch and sensor shit was just retarded and and tell yeah <laughs> trust me and then fucking uh the covert forces and the trojan horses to be honest i just remember like a lot more the shuffle fee and marlo said they were just like impressed on me a lot more i would say 3-0 but the only round that wasn't close uh, was the second one. The first and third were very tight, but the second one I felt was kind of a blowout, and that's what uh, tipped it over the edge for a shock tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah, just watched that match. Uh, everyone's watched it now, yeah. And basically, um, I would say 
Overall, yeah, when it comes to teamwork and everything, I think Marlon and Shuffle T obviously like just work a bit better together, synchronization, everything, yeah. Um, rhyming also, like the multis, everything was tight. But then, like, I do actually prefer probably Cracker and C Major as, as rappers and like their, their intensity in the battle. Um, if we see as the first round, I definitely give it to C Major and, uh, and Cracker. Um, second round, definitely Marlon Shuffle T. Um, third round, Marlo and Shuffle because they just obviously intensity just went up towards the end. They were going in, you get me. And like, even though sometimes I think they might go off on ones a little bit with, you know, what I mean, all the multi syllables and shit. The fucking, they still just went in. They were just like go, going off and broke them down, just way better as a whole. So yeah, I think they should take it. But. Yo, it's Villain for me on Twitter, at me and Mad Villain. Um, watched C Major and Cracker versus Shuffle T and Marlo, amazing title match. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Shuff, say um, Cracker and C Major. As a whole, overall, like they just kept it consistent. Like they had, they really had very few bars that I thought weren't good. Um, in terms of Marlow and Shuffle, their performance as a team is overshadows what C Major and Cracker do. But in terms of the battle, they like for round for round, I had C Major scoring and Cracker keep scoring above them in every round. First round was six eleven. Third round was like 7.13. Um, what I'm going to say is, uh, Cracker and C Major, they were more direct. A lot of Shuffle and Marlo's reactions and the, their biggest bars, like the best friends forever, Pesci and Bender, Penatella shit, that was all referring to themselves. Like the league is, uh, um, the, we were champions before the league, blah, 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 or online just eat what we did. But like Cracker and C Major were breaking them down continuously throughout three rounds so I'm gonna say three rounds um three rounds to them like just but shuffling and Marlow put on a great performance but in terms of the battle shuffling I mean Cracker and C Major just great for me man Mr. ARK about to judge this doubles title match um I'm gonna give it a three nil to shuffle and Marlow like I just feel like uh, if I can put one one bar that kind of sum up the battle for me is like uh it was a dom flop entertainment the clues in the name and like, I feel like yeah, we can talk about rapping on tracks and stuff like it's not a really, it's, it's rapping, but it's not rapping on the track. You see what I'm saying? And the, the Shuffle and Marlo do still rap, their multis are crazy. Like, um, C Major and Cracker can spit, like, it's not, but it's just a case of who's more entertaining. And I found myself, I was sat down right at the front of the stage and I found myself standing up more for, to react for stuff when Marlo and Shuffle won, and that's all I can go off. Like, all I can do is react to what, I've, what makes me go off and boy, Shuffle and Marla made me react harder. I like, I like Cracker and C Major, but Shuffle and Marla won that a free zone. Yeah, big up, man. Like, settlements was everyone saying, like, it was clear that uh, Cracker and C are definitely the better rappers. But that doesn't take away from Marlowe's and Shuffle's writing, man. Like, they because they both have good chemistry, the teams. And a lot like someone else said, like I found myself standing up a lot of the times and reacting to Shuffle T and Marlowe's the bars, not, not but listening to what Cracker and C Major are saying, I'm like, yeah, like the MC in me is like, yeah, I'm feeling what they're saying. But the way battle rappers involve, it's not just about rapping better. And uh, I'm gonna go with Shuffle T and Marlo. Close battle. Yeah. Yo, Monstro, Georgina 2 on 2 title match. I'm gonna start off by saying one, it was an incredible title match. Two, that's probably my favourite performances from both teams. For me, it was. I'm agreeing with most of the judges to be honest. I think the overall chemistry between Shuffle and Marlow was just incredible and they don't get enough I just don't feel they get enough deserve for the writing what they actually do. I mean their technical writing is just incredible. The chemistry is insane. I mean obviously C Major and Cracker no doubt are the better rappers but I agree with Arkin Joker to be honest, I found found myself reacting more for Shuffle and Marlow, so my decision goes to Shuffle and Marlow.
C Major and Cracker, the defending champions, going up against the challengers, Shuffle T and Marlo, and the winners of the final battle of day one, fifth birthday, is... I'm proud to announce new champions. Yeah. Well, fifth birthday, day one, is, uh, is over, and we've got some new champs. Sorry about that, boys. It's I'm gonna right. I'm gonna talk to them first because you know they're more important now. <laughs> um, did you expect it when you were writing? Did you expect it? Um, no, not really. I mean, we didn't really write that with that in mind. We genuinely uh, just wrote to to do what. Oh, sorry. I'll oh, hold. That's really rude of me. No, no, no. I normally. Are you sure. It's fine. Oh, okay. Don't be um, taking liberties with the mic. In that case, uh, yeah. No, we uh, we kind of wrote with just entertainment in mind. You know, we wanted to do something new in the third because we felt we owed some like serious kind of uh, gestures. Sorry about that. Serious kind of bars and stuff. Owed it to the situation, the gravity of the title match. It it deserves some kind of like serious yeah. bars. But no, we just wrote to entertain really as much as we could and. Um, yeah. We hoped, uh, hoped we'd win. During the battle, did you yeah, think, yeah, yeah we've yeah, got really this? Oh, stop trying to hug the camera. During the battle, did you think, yeah, we got this? Um, I was honestly no. Uh, I, I genuinely thought Cracker and C had that, um, and it, up until the judging decision as well. Uh, I think, like, I think you know, when you prepare for a battle, um, you kind of have a certain idea about, like, you know, what bars are going to go off, what bars aren't, and uh, and yeah, and it was just kind of a bit of a mixed sort of reaction and, and kind of unexpected for some of the bars like we, we got more reaction for stuff which we didn't expect to get for me anyway personally yeah, uh, like what did what did you not expect to get reaction for um like, like just just like obviously when you're running up to the setup of a bar like when i said his wife's the man and like everyone just just went crazy you know it's one of those things where like the setup gets more reaction than like the end of the uh the, the end of the punch or whatever um which does happen from time to time and that kind of i suppose threw me off in terms of uh, well, obviously, didn't, like in terms of performance, but at the end, I was I was so certain they had it because I think their their bars just seemed like really really on point, um, and and the reactions were in the right places. If that makes sense, um, and uh, yeah, the timing was really good, and yeah, they killed it. But who'd have thought it? You were quite mean. Um, I wasn't expecting you to be that mean. I think again, like it's one of those things where we sort of felt like we owed it to the gravity of the situation. You just feel like it necessitates some kind of serious element to it, as well as being sort of jovial. Or even though you know, as as the guys were sort of saying, and, and we do kind of agree, you know, Leeds is much is much better, and certainly we proved it. Where we're like, to rap, you, uh, to get reaction, you actually have to be good when you rap. And then we did some bars at the end, which didn't get any reaction. So I guess we proved our own theory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, uh, I think it was one of those things where like, um, yeah, we just felt like we we owed it, and we. Um, and, and also, we knew it was going to be something that they kind of used against us was that, you know, you just do comedy. And then we thought, well, if we go sort of, you know, do some hard stuff in between, then it's going to maybe seem a bit out of the blue. Maybe they expected it, but at least it kind of seems a bit uh, novel for us yeah. to do. Novel. Um, you two, bit of a kick in the teeth. The doubles are... <laughs> <laughs> the doubles... <laughs> I don't actually... I love you. I really loved watching your vlog as well. Oh, thank but you. the doubles... Um, tournament doesn't seem that long ago and you were really hard in that tournament and all of a sudden bit shit we got paid for the tournament yeah <laughs> so this don't matter no i'm playing nah, like, it's it, not about the money man it's uh it's all about the money as soon as as soon as earth starts paying me more you'll see me a lot more no i'm playing uh, no, throw but, money at me till them bills hurt yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. no but you know what we couldn't lost it to two better people you know there's no yeah, no man. one i don't think anyone's better than marlo and shuffle right now and as much as it hurts me like because i hate losing stuff like it's just really competitive like i i think they deserve it you know what i mean yeah to be fair though it was really close i normally call battles like how they go i still have like this sort of sense but I couldn't actually, I don't say this all the time, I couldn't call it. It was so close. And I'm like, I know some of the people that were judging it were like, shit. I, I, so. I feel like we're probably the best two teams in Don't Flop, mm. to be honest. I mean, like, they do our stuff, we do our stuff. and you Now we're in Kruger, but... Yeah, okay, we're well, in Kruger we'll and all see. that. I mean, we'll come see. on. <laughs> no, but like, they, they did do their stuff really well. We do our stuff really well. And you can see the contrast of it, like, how, how different it is. But yeah, man, we, we, both, we both entertain, so... I'm glad to lose to these guys. If it was man. close, then technically we won. Like to some people, we won. So you, that's all right. I do think there will be a bit of controversy on on YouTube about it. Yeah. No. Why not? Why not? Being in the building, like just seeing the difference in reaction, like I could just tell that they were fucking with Char Charlo. Yeah, Charlo a lot more than us. You know what I mean? So, Charlo, I like that. Yeah. It's a nice. Better than muffled tea. Yeah, we had shuffle. We had shuffle before. Yeah, shuffle. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Shuffle. 
Um, Ur was saying on his vlog um, about two on two pairings uh, that some people complement each other, some people just totally take away from each other. I th obviously, you lot complement each other. What, what do you think it is about you two that complements each other's style and you do really well as a pairing? We're oh. both ginger. <laughs> we, we've been rapping together for years, man. We met when we met when we was like teenagers, I think almost. Yeah. yeah so like, we've what? Together. You're not teenagers? No, I'm 22. I'm, jo I'm joking. Joking. I'm joking. I'm still 16. I'll see you. <laughs> hey, wait, why do you hate me so much? I, I'm. <laughs> no, but yeah, like we, we met like when like quite a few years ago. We've been rapping together for ages. Like we've been oh, on song. Years. We've been on song. Yeah, we've been on songs together. And then when we got into battle rap. Yeah, man, it's just, you know, it's kind of the same thing. You trans transfer your skills from rapping into uh, into battle rap and, yeah, man. And it works for you two. I feel like it works. I think one of my well. favourite parts of the end battle today was when they were talking about you paying your overdraft off and you were just stood there like, yeah, I did true, that, man, I did that. Story. It was really sweet. Marlo just told the truth to your face. <laughs> yeah. And why do you think you two complement each other so well? Is it because you're such good mates, do you reckon? We're not mates. Yeah, oh, no, this is all for Wow, it's a really good act. You're doing so well with that. Well, no, we, 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 we study drama quite heavily and we, we hate each other, to be honest. It's, it's, it's not I, th I think we can, <laughs> I think it's like, um, yeah, it's a similar kind of thing. We've been mates for, for you know, five, five years, five years, five, five years. And, uh, you know, we lived together for a year. We did drama, we did sketches, you know, we, we've, we've been, we just kind of click together really. Yeah. Like we're best mates in, in reality as well. So it's kind of. It's one of those things where you know yeah. why why wouldn't it work on stage? It's, and I think I think it's one of those things where we don't have to worry about the element of chemistry because it's naturally there. I think not not that these guys, like you guys have the same thing really. Like you guys have the same thing, but like uh, I think so much the, chemistry going on. I think both, we both just have a really stupid sense of humour, basically. Like like si similar, which I think like is really difficult to translate a lot of times. And we actually shy away from from putting that into battles, although we have done from time like the yeah. the choke a choke a choke 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 yeah. choke choke thing against the. Uh, because Joker Star and Verb uh, was, I think, tapping into that sense of humour, but like, tea. yeah, just I'll get a tea, really. That's what that's what makes us work. But also, I think like we're so comfortable with each other. So I'm just watching that woman put the broom handle back on she the does it broom. Well, she? Is yeah. she more interesting than a little bit? Of this. No, no, no. Um, the broom is brilliant. Um, I think, I think one of the um, one of the things as well is that we um, because of the closeness and the friendship, and I'm sure you guys have this too. Like we write we write like almost at the, the same time all the time. We order the rounds at the same time over the same laptop, yeah. and we're really like scrupulous with each other. Like we don't mind getting into an literally about the word and or so. Yeah. Literally took up a half an hour argument like about a week before we battled because we it was like whether whether it sounds better to say and to link the two ideas or so to link the two ideas. And actually, do you go into this much detail? Do you have um, domestics like this? All the time, all the time. Is it? Do you? We have bars where I go, that doesn't make sense. And he's like, no, man, it does make sense. It does. And I'm like, and I'm like, it is slang, but it still doesn't make sense. He's like, no, it does make we sense. Went, it does make we sense. We went into an English grammar, and we we got into it the other day. Like, we checked. Uh, I'm sure we checked. We checked the dictionary. Or yeah, yeah. The thesaurus. I'm sure. Yeah. The thesaurus. Yeah. No, it's ridiculous sometimes. Because you want you want your bars to make sense. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, same. It's, it's about the stupidest stuff, like most of the time as well. Like, like just just things that don't really matter. Like like you know you know much muchness like you know what people will react to you know things like and and so I mean it's just stupid yeah, like <laughs> I remember in the compliment battle we were like spent literally about like I don't know I think two hours talking about whether I was to say when I step to this champ oh, yeah. or uh, then I step to this champ which makes no sense <laughs> It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Oh gosh, setting you off again. Takes a lot of time. Takes a lot of time. Well, I think it's good that you both um, both pairs put so much effort in because it's it's better to watch a battle when that's happened than watching a battle where someone thinks I'm not going to prep for it because the other person's shit. <laughs> because sometimes that's a bit boring. Yeah. And yours definitely wasn't. Yeah, like we won't say. Prior to belief, man. Like we think they're sick, man. I know we said in our blog, like it's trash talk. Like I, okay, I think they're sick. I think no, they're I ill. Think they're good. But it's, it, in a, you have to understand, in a blog, like it's trash talk. Like I don't actually yeah. think they're shit. Like I'm just trying to hype up the battle so more people watch it and like you know, and I so I get more hate from all the trolls on the internet. On like, I went on it. I went on our one. It had like however many dislikes, like ten in like a minute or something. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And we went on theirs. It got no dislikes. Yeah. I, I, just on, for the record, I have no idea how our vlogs, like that we recorded, like our Q and A or interviews kind of thing, got no dislike or, or very or little few. Because it was in a fake forest. <laughs> yeah, it was in a, well, that that helps. I think fake forests famously always help. But at, at this point, like ours was like, I just I just felt really awkward, like like with my responses and stuff. So maybe that's why people. Oh, look how awkward they are. Yeah, oh, it seemed, it seemed more human. I, think, right. I don't understand why people would. 
like dislike you though because you're quite likable. Re- no, would dislike you. I don't understand why people okay. would dislike you. You're quite likable people. Your vlog, like, like your vlog so. was likable. I thought. No, do you know what it is? Because of how we are in battles, like people don't see us like this. We're like, we're not, we don't do. You know, it is all a character. With Don't Flop, it's like the person that you are on the stage and the things that you say. It's, it's not like we're saying them to each other outside of battles and that we hate each other and stuff. Like, it's a performance. It's a form of entertainment. Like, we're just, like, we're, like, we're friends pretty much. I like to think we're, well, you know. <laughs> I don't They're know all right. Or anything. I know. The well, old, I'll the old don't flop soap I opera. I've got to quickly say, originally, quite afraid of C major. I was yeah, not man. like. You have an intimidating presence. Yeah, yeah, was, man. Which I, I but think, like, I and and outside, and outside, and outside, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the first time I think one of the, the first time I met you was in like, um, the, not the Brixton Jam, the other one that we were elbow, elbow, fiddler's elbow, and like, um, and I just went, oh yeah, nice to meet you, and you went like that, and I went. See ya. <laughs> and I tried away and I was like, great to meet you. I'll just go. <laughs> I was like, crap. It's, it's, it's turning into cool. like, this is your life now. I wish I knew that before the battle. Like, <laughs> you know. It would have been a nice little angle. You are a bit intimidating, actually, the battle. I think we've got to wrap it up. We've been going on for ages. The card's full. We've finished. Do you want to wrap it up? Amazing. The end. Time. No,